In this video, I'm going to show you how to rip a DVD with subtitles or caption burnt into the video for educational purposes. This is really great if there's a really short segment of a video that you need to show perhaps in a class, uh, but you also need to have your closed captions on for students. Now, before we get started, what you're going to need to do is figure out whether you are running Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. And the way that you can do that is by simply going to your Start button and typing in the word System. And you should see a little window that pops up, and this is what you're looking for, System Information. Go ahead and click on it, and look for the system type. I am running x64, which means I'm running a 64-bit system. You need to know whether you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows because we need to download a driver to install. Now once we're done with figuring out whether we're running 62-bit or 32-bit, you can go ahead and close this window. The next thing that we need to do is download a software that will allow us to rip the DVD and the software that we're going to be using is called Handbrake. It's very popular and there are lots of videos on YouTube that will show you how to use it. But I'm going to show you how to use it in a specific way that will allow you to rip the video with the captions or subtitles on all the time. Okay, so go ahead and download Handbrake simply by clicking on it and then going to downloads and then selecting the version that you need, whether you're running Windows or uh, Mac. I'm running Vin Windows right now, so I'm going to go ahead and select the Windows version. Now, I've already downloaded and installed the software, so I'm not going to download it again. Once you've downloaded and installed Handbrake, you're going to need to download a specific driver for your version of Windows, and this is the URL that you need to go to download.videolane.org forward slash pub forward slash lib dvd css forward slash 1.2.11 now as i mentioned earlier on i am running windows 6 uh, 64 bit which means i need to download this specific driver for my computer so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and download this driver right over here Now it is downloading onto my computer and you will see that the file is popping up at the very bottom of my screen. I've got two of them. Now you might see this little warning sign that says this type of file may harm your computer. Um, it, it's not going to harm your computer. It's a simple uh, driver that will actually allow Handbrake to rip a DVD even if the DVD has uh, um, protection on it. Now once again this is for educational purposes. This is not for you to be uh, downloading and ripping and uh, copying um, movies illegally. That is not what I'm suggesting um, in this video. This is strictly for educational purposes. Okay, now with that disclaimer, we're going to go ahead and uh, close this browser because we no longer need it. You'll notice that I've got an icon for Handbrake on my desktop and that's once again because I already installed it. Now before we begin the ripping process, you'll need to locate the file that we downloaded, the driver that we downloaded from that website. And if I go to my downloads folder right over here, you'll notice that I've got that file right over here. LIB DVD CSS 2.dl. What we're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy the specific driver and paste it into the folder where Handbrake was installed. Now on my computer Handbrake was installed in the C drive under programs under a folder labeled Handbrake. So I've already done this. I've already pasted the driver right over here. Okay, so you can see that it's located right there. Now the driver is in the correct folder. Now we can go ahead with the ripping process. I've already installed or inserted a DVD um, with a movie in it onto my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and open Handbrake. Now that Handbrake is open, you're going to tell Handbrake where the DVD is located or where the video is located. So we're going to click on Source, and I'm going to select the source of the video as the my E drive, which is actually my DVD player. And you'll notice that at this point, Handbrake is scanning the titles on the video. Okay, once Handbrake is done scanning your DVD, it'll say Ready at the very bottom over here. Now you'll notice that uh, where the source is located, it's going to give you the name of the video or the movie that you're trying to rip. And it's going to give you uh, a list of files over here labeled titles. 
Now, usually the video or the movie is the longest um, time frame of movies. So in this particular case, it's this one right here, uh, 1 hour 41 minutes and 37 seconds. So that's basically the video that I'm trying to um, copy with the captions. So you want to select that specific file. And then under destination, you want to give the um, ripped file a specific name. And I am just going to call it captioned video. And I am going to browse and pick a location. I'm just going to go ahead and save it onto my desktop. You'll notice that the file type is MP4. Okay. Now the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the subtitle section and where it says over here add track just click on the add track button now this will only work if the video is actually subtitled or closed captioned in my specific case my video is actually subtitled and closed captioned um, so you can go ahead and select the uh, subtitle version now the difference between subtitles and closed captioned um, at least in terms of the way that handbrake grips videos is if you select subtitles the video will be uh, saved as an mp4 and it will play very easily on any mp4 player but if you select closed caption the video is, is actually going to get saved as an uh, mk4 format which isn't really easy to play on most uh, video players so i'm going to go ahead and select the english uh, vob sub version and then this is where you want to go ahead and make sure that you check this off the burned in this is going to ensure that the subtitles are actually appearing on the video all the time now once this is selected and you've checked it off all you need to do at this point is go ahead and click start and wait for the video to rip and it's going to take a little bit of time so i'm going to go ahead and click on start and um, pause the video and then come back once we are done ripping the video once Handbrake is done ripping the video, it should appear in the location that you selected. I selected the desktop and therefore it is appearing right, right over here on the desktop. Now I'm using a um, media player called VLC, but if you don't have VLC um, and you've got the basic window um, media player app, it should also open it for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the app. And uh, there's a video over right there. And if I fast forward you'll notice that the captions are appearing on the video itself right over there and that is how you rip a DVD with the subtitles or the captions actually burnt into the video or have them turned on all the time I hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we will be releasing more videos if you have a specific request for a video that you would like for me to make please go ahead and leave it in the comment section beneath this video thank you very much for watching